Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. I've got a great one today. I'm going to be comparing pool mining versus solo mining on the cannons here. So I've been chugging away for the last couple of months and I reckon I've come up with some great results for this bad boys. I'm going to be comparing five popular coins that I have been mining and then compare that to what you can earn versus solo mining. Alright, so let's get into it and have a look at my results. Now I think one of the easiest ways for me to show you what's the best way to mine would be this little table I've got here. So we're going to look at the rewards, the dollar value per coin, your total dollar reward, which is going to be your reward times your coin value. We're going to see how long it takes to actually mine a potential coin and then compare that to what you could mine daily if you were to just pull mine. And then we're going to work out how many days it's going to take to earn the same dollar amount if you were to solo mine and that should give us what's the best coin to mine so let's get into it and let's look at the rewards first all right so i've been using mining dutch so we're going to quickly look up each coin and find out what the reward is for mining each coin solo so the bitcoin cash you're going to get 3.125 per block found Let's have a quick look at Fractal here. Now you're going to get 25.1 coins per block found. Ecash, one of my favorites, you're going to get 1.8125 million coins. Not bad. Digibyte, just over 300 coins per block found. And then Bitcoin, everyone's favorite, you're going to get 3.8. One four with that little bit of bonus there. All right, so let's plug them into the chart. There we go. This is what you're going to get per coin block found. All right, let's just quickly look up the dollar value now and work out what the total reward will be from that. So Bitcoin's just sitting over just over a hundred thousand. Pretty good per coin. I've got the other one saved here, so let's just quickly look at these. Fractal, 48 cents, not too bad. Ecash, 0.00002%. Bugger all. Digibyte, not quite one cent, so it's getting there. Let's just quickly actually, let's look up Bitcoin Cash. There we are, $408 per coin. It's pretty good for Bitcoin. All right, let's plug that in here. So there we are, the dollar value per coin. Now let's work out the total reward if we were to find a block, which is basically the dollar value times the reward. And that's going to give us our total reward. So Bitcoin there, 324000 And then the rest go down from there. All right, now the next big thing is to look at the estimated time to mine each block. So on Mining Dutch here on the side there, it'll show you how long it will take to mine each block on average. So you can see there. Now Bitcoin here, if we go down on Mining Dutch, it basically says infinity. So let's just quickly jump on to Lucky Monster here and we'll plug in the details. We'll put in the terahash, which we know is six terahash for that now that's going to give us it in years now we're going to convert that to days when we plug that into the spreadsheet bitcoin cash here that's going to give us roughly 3500 days so that's getting up there uh, fractal on the avalon at the moment that's going to give us roughly 28 days that's pretty good less than a month to find a block Ecash, my favorite because I found a few blocks, which is pretty good. 106. I found my first one in 42 days, which is pretty good. All right, so let's plug this in here. Now, don't forget, I did convert the Bitcoin years into days, so 945,000 days. That's the average time to find a block if you were to solo mine for each of these. 
All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is look at pool mining. Now I have one of the Avalons set up to pool mine, and we're gonna go through how much on average we pool mine per day. So the beauty with Mining Dutch is every day they send you a result of how much you've been mining. And on average, I've been getting roughly 30 to 33 cents per day. 0 0.000300 Bitcoin per day. So let's plug that in here. We can put the reward in. Now we know the dollar value per coin. And that's roughly what we earn per day. Roughly about 31 cents per day. Not too bad for the little Avalon there. Now what we're going to do is basically divide that into the total reward to find out how many days it will take to earn the same dollar value if we were to pull mine. So let's plug that in there. So if we were to pull mine a Bitcoin, it would take just over a million days to earn the same reward if we were to solo mine. And basically any of these that have a lower average reward time than solo mining, they're the ones that you're gonna to wanna to be targeting. So Digibyte there, even though the estimated is 19 days to find a block, we can actually mine the same dollar value in nine days if we were to solo mine. So solo mining Digibyte is basically a big fat waste of time. But yeah, that's my results so far. And I reckon solo mining is definitely the way to go. So if you've got the Canon Avalons here, I would be looking at solo mining, pretty much for me, eCash or Fractal Bitcoin, because you are gonna get one of them within a month or two. And I reckon that's the best result when you're mining with these bad boys. Thanks for watching.